The second thing is her neutral game. She it doesn't have that many good neutral tools. While the blast, well the well the zapper is great for engaging, and you can have setups where it's just like, oh hey, I'm gonna shield the zapper because I won't be able to jump out of the way. Oh well, now I've got time to run in and grab. Yeah. You know, things like that. The third reason is. What was my third reason? Well, either way, we're going to go into a match here. Uh, we've got Jen and Prism as Villager and Mennonite versus Beauty and the Beast as Rosaluma and Diddy Kong. Already we see uh, Jen getting hoo ha like crazy from that Diddy Kong. Basically. Already at 52%, 15 seconds in. Yeah, both these characters can rack up percentages, and they don't necessarily synergize the best, Diddy Kong and Rosaluma, but they're both very strong characters. Absolutely. So they can and will be able to overpower these two if they do it right. Vill having the tree out, the villager does. Not the best thing there. Hoo-ha! That was a forward <laughs> air there. And the oh, the up takes. air from Rosaluma will take that stock. Rosaluma's up air. That's another one of those super strong moves. All these up airs are just... I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen her up air kill at 20%. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's... Ab it's I don't even know what to say about it. People are like, oh, Rosaluma is like no longer a top-tier character, and I agree on that. <laughs> if we're talking about top of the top, she's a. I still think she's a third best character in the game right now. Next to Diddy. Next to Diddy and Sheik. Sheik. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, Ooh. there's a good smash Golden from Jen balls. there. Gonna take the stock off of Rosaluma. Villager at 137, 140 percent, and Diddy Kong's at 82. Does Rage? Uh, does it affect the damage the tree does? Rage does not affect the damage anything does. Rage oh. only affects the knockback. Oh yeah. Ooh, Good. there we go. Nice up smash taking the stock off of Villager, so... Turn it from Jen accidentally. A theoretical lead for Beauty and the Beast right now. Mm -hmm. Again, one stock is not really a lead. Any time, that one stock could just be gone because of a mistake. Luma, Luma dead right now. Luma is gone. Luma's out of there. Rosalina is still strong without Luma, but Luma has is a big part of her yeah, game, so... It's, it's not like an Ice Climber situation where if you lose Nana or Popo, then it's kind of the end for you. It kind of is, and you just, like... It, the difference is, like, if you play, like, if you play Ice Climbers, you have to have a Sopo. It's period. Yeah. You just have to have a Sopo. Whereas Rosaluma, you can kind of run away for 13 seconds and get the Luma back. Yeah, because so. it, it, uh, it, it does eventually respond, or respond, excuse me. Yeah. So you don't really have to worry about trying to take care of her, your enemy solo. Yeah. Right now it's a definite lead for Beauty and the Beast, the Diddy and Rosaluma. Diddy Kong still has not lost a stock. He's playing pretty passively here. Gets a forward smash. That's going to knock the Villager out. And there goes Prism's last stock. So oh this is goodness. basically a clear win for Beauty and the Beast right now. Oh, boy. What a blowout. But it's not over yet. Maybe Jen can... It's not. Oh, that hoo-ha. That combo oh. team hoo-ha. Beautiful. Oh, Diddy gets hit. throwing airs out everywhere. Yeah, he's a super strong character, man. Jen you can throw. Has a chance to make it back. Oh, oh! Hits uh, Rosaluma with that side B. Villager with a nice neutral air. Tries Ooh. to go for the forward smash drop with the. <laughs> forward smash takes care of Luma. Yeah, the bowling ball, it, it's such an interesting, interesting move because it only stops when it hits something. Mm -hmm. Like, hits hits a piece of platform or just hits the bottom oh. of the stage. Oh! oh the. Oh, I thought that took care of both. I thought it did too for a second there. I was like, wait, did that just get both of them? Wow, but there we go. Beauty and the Beast taking game number one. I have a feeling that Prism is going to go to Rosaluma after this. Yep. Although he might like playing Meta Knight, Rosaluma is definitely his better character. Oh, All right, so I'm some on custom moves coming out. Yeah. All right, so I'm on stream next, uh, apparently. Oh, so you are. I'm up against. Uh, I think it's. I'm not sure what are their names again. I don't know. It's Bunt Cake and someone else. Oh yeah, that's like the team name. They didn't really. It was like Bunt and something. Yeah, I'm forgetting his tag actually. It's kind of weird. Star. No, it's not Starfire. Firefly. There we go. Firefly. It's Firefly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Bunt Cake okay. and Firefly that I'm up against next with my with my with well, my comp. With best, my partner, basically. Best of luck to you. All right, but for now, we watch this. We've got Third. a counter big situation. I, I believe Congo Jungle is actually legal for doubles. Oh, doubles, yeah. Not for not for singles. I mean, I still think it should be for singles, but mm -hmm. for doubles, it is legal right now, I believe. 
Actually, I'm not sure about that. Looks like they're really having uh, a hard time deciding which stage they want to do here. Mm -hmm. They might do Omega over Orbital Gate. I've seen that one done. Like, maybe they'll just go back to Battlefield. Well, Town City works too. Oh, almost there. All right, Town City. There we go. So we're going to be hopping into the game here. He did indeed switch to Rosaluma. So it's Rosaluma and Diddy versus Rosaluma and Villager. Ooh, the the Haas, the Haas, the Haas. Oh, not getting him. Diddy is no, no there. Who. Not yeah, yet. there's no who's involved in this. It's just the Haas. It's interesting to see Rosaluma Ditto's, honestly, because customs are going to make the difference in terms of play style for this. Mm -hmm. The fact that customs are allowed in this tournament is pretty interesting. All right, looks like uh, Prism lost his Luma there. Not going to be in the best of situations. Diddy Kong going to make it back with that. Very close to not making it there. Mm -hmm. I think if... Prism had tried to go for a like down back air. air or something. Oh yeah, I, I down air like might have worked too, but he didn't decide to go for it. He might have been able to get him there with that. Yeah, anything would have worked in that situation, I think. The Lloyd Rocket covering of the stage, trying to get well, then you drop down and just up be back up. Mm -hmm. It's a really good option for Villager. It's hard to punish Prism managing to make it back on the left side, but Ooh. gets forward smashed off anyway. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Ooh, oh, Ooh makes it back barely. to the stage there. Fun th the funny thing about uh, like her her regular uh, up B, mm -hmm. like her non-custom up B. Ooh, that up air going to take him out, and then Diddy that dies tree. too. That tree. Game two. Ah, <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> Ooh, the forward air there that from giant star bit. just taking up so much space. Indeed. Can't really do anything when it's out there. Whoop. <laughs> oh, so this isn't in favor of Gen and Prism right now, but again, a stock is not a lead. Yep. That could be lost at any time, and in doubles, like things like that could happen. <laughs> everyone could hit everyone. Once well, somebody uh, Prism's Luma goes down there, but the Ha from Diddy going to take him out. The, the ledge trump into back air. That's something I see a lot from Diddy Kongs. It is a strong option if you can do it right. Diddy's just the edge guarding master. He is. All those stupid airs. Red Team Luma gone. Going to be have to be pretty careful about this. That custom with that big like star bit. Yeah. Like it just hovers there. It doesn't do much damage or knockback or anything, but it just hovers there. Yeah. It can cover your approach option if you put it in the right place. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. When there's so much on the screen, sometimes you never see that big, big uh, star bit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, the tree, tree gonna yeah. knock Diddy Kong out. That was interesting. I don't think I've seen a tree popping up and king o, o somebody before. That happened earlier. It did. No, yeah, oh. got Diddy Kong. Ah. the first time. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess I just blind. Hoo ha! Did villager down. It's one stock, one stock, one stock, two stocks. Beauty and the Beast currently with a theoretical lead. Hoo-ha from Diddy. Down air is going to stop that. Explosion. Alright, so we've got... Well, we've got to be careful. The, the bowling ball not going to grab him when he gets the ledge. He's going to have to time that really good because most Rosalumas will not go super low like that. They'll mm -hmm. go on an angle and then angle it up right towards the ledge. Alright, so there goes the stock for the last for the red team. Rosaluma, one stock of Peach for Ed... One stock of peace for everybody. And, Villager and there goes Villager, but the up air going to kill at like 20%. Like you See said, what I mean? 20% up airs. Rosaluma's up air is crazy. So we got a battle at the top tiers right now with <laughs> Rosaluma and Diddy Kong. So this is going to be interesting right now. Prism knows his matchup. Knows this matchup. He, I've seen him do it several times. There's a, there's a good example of something he's done there. He's got to be careful here. A good up smash will take out Diddy here. He might want to try and space that. Oh, but the hoo-ha, not going to connect. But there's the ha, and that's going to be 2-0 for Beauty and the Beast. All right. So, I am up on the stage. You're going to have to replace... All right. So, 